This is from Madison in Ohio. I recently graduated from physical therapy school and have student, a student loan worth about a one-year salary. I was also educated by my parents to invest and start my retirement as soon as possible. I was wondering if I should focus on paying my loans off or invest part of my salary. What would be a happy median so I could do both? So at the place you've gone to work, if they have any match of the retirement funds, that is higher priority. You put money in that before you worry so much about anything other than just servicing the student loan debt. That has to come first. All right. Uh, Second, with the student loan debt, the portion you have that is at uh, hopefully taken out at times that the rate set for the life of the loan is low because we went through several years that student loan interest rates from federal sources were fixed at very low rates. Those, you only pay the minimums required servicing those. Third thing, any loans you have that are variable rates, they are a very high priority, particularly with interest rates rising. Any private student loans, very high priority. So you you don't look at this as an either or. It is a series of decision trees, with the first being the retirement plan at work is ultra important if there's a match. Second, I didn't talk about if as a physical therapist, what you're going to do, the facility you're going to do it in, does your work qualify you for the pre-existing, forget all the court battles and all that, the already existing uh, public service work loan forgiveness. If you qualify based on where you're working, any loans that will be forgiven after 120 months, you want to pay the minimum on those as a factor. So as you can see, this is not one that has, okay, automatically do this automatically do that. It really is a series of questions you've got to answer. And one of the primary things is floating rate loans, really bad, pay on those. Fixed rate loans that are low, pay the minimums on those. Loans that are federally guaranteed that are eligible, if you are, for the 10-year federal loan forgiveness, those you pay only the minimums on. And you'll come up with those decisions, you'll come up with the priorities of where each dollar you're making that you can afford to spend on your loans or on saving for the future, investing for the future, you'll be able to figure out where that next dollar should go.